Dr. Alex Vidan. You're here to talk about the best virtual school setup from a chiropractor's point of view, right? Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. Thanks for having me here today. Yeah, we're so happy to have you here. Uh, how important is this uh, for your kid to sit properly while they're learning virtually? Yeah, I tell you, this is going to be really key and really important because kids are going to be you know, learning virtually, as you said, they're going to be doing a lot of virtual uh, schooling and everything. And we want to make sure that we set them up for success and start them off on the right foot initially, because otherwise it can lead to a lot of things like headaches, upper back pain, lower back pain, all kinds of stuff. And we don't want any of that. And your son is here to demonstrate. Now yeah. he's looking down at the computer right now. Is that okay? Right, no, that's not. And so he's, he's gonna show us a, a bad example of what we want where his eyes are gonna look down to the computer screen and that's gonna promote more of this hunched over positioning that gets into this. So we wanna change that. And by changing that, what we'll do is all we need is a box to raise it up. So one of the four steps here is gonna be just raise it up. And you'll notice now that when he looks at the screen, he's gonna be promoted to sit in a more upright position. His eyes, if you drew a line from his eyes to the screen, it's gonna hit the top quarter or third of the screen. And so he's gonna be in an optimal position for his neck and upper back and low back to be in the right place. But I have to ask, the keyboard is so high right now. Yeah, and that is gonna be a problem. I mean, the keyboard is so high, so he's gonna to have to really crunch up and do all this kind of stuff. A very awkward positioning. So what we're gonna to recommend to do is, is get a secondary keyboard. And with that secondary keyboard, you can just drop it down, right? So we drop it down, put it right in his lap. That way he can sit up. He's looking straight ahead at this monitor, but he's got the keyboard down low to allow his arms just to drip, drop down and be in a comfortable position to be able to key and do everything that he needs to do there. I mean, my son is using an iPad, so it would be the same thing. You need to raise up the iPad so he doesn't like hold it on his lap. Right, you wanna bring that up. And the more that we can bring it up and keep them in a better position, it's gonna take stress and strain off the nervous system, off their spine, promote things like uh, better posture, positioning, all that. We all need work within that too with working from home. Okay, do you recommend that kids do this on the couch or you know, at, at the kitchen yeah, counter, uh, where? Yeah, that's a great question. You know, a lot of my patients are asking me that very same thing. And, and really the thing, thing that we're seeing is, is they're, they're working from the kitchen table and that's gonna be an optimal position for them. Don't slouch on the couch is gonna be the main thing because it promotes this kind of thing, right? This slouched up position, they're gonna get in all these crunched up kind of places. And so we wanna minimize that. And so get them in the best position possible so that they're sitting up good and tall and not putting stress and strain on the spine, neck, creating things like headaches, neck pain, shoulder pain, fatigue, all of that. We don't want any of that stuff. Now, uh, you recommend parents also be the PE teacher, right? Have them get up and do some jumping jacks? Hey, listen, if you can get up and move, that's going to be best. We are meant to move. And so you're absolutely right that in between classes, the kids are used to, our students are used to, my son is used to getting up and socializing and seeing people and moving. We're meant to move. Unfortunately, now with the virtual learning, that's not going to be the case. So take those opportunities in between classes instead of being chained to the table or chained to the desk and just sitting here and being online more, get up and move. Promote your children to get up, move in between these learning experiences so that they can then have their bodies move more and more. We're meant to move. The more that we can, the better it's going to be. Wow. Dr. Vidan, this is stuff I was not thinking about as a parent. So thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And, uh, and we appreciate being here. And, uh, and thanks for having us on today.